Well, there is something that people are fearful right now. There's plenty of people who are still in business who are still fearful of Twitter. And the reason they're fearful of it is because they don't understand the power of it. Many people, and I'm sure some of you in the audience right now, think that Twitter is something for kids, and they go, I just painted my toenails pale green, and I put red, yellow dots on them so they look so cute. And these are actual tweets that we've taken off the Internet. And it's, it, you're totally foolish to think that all tweets are like this. It's just like anything else. If you look at professional athletes, some are cool, some are idiots. Twitter is not just being used by teens. It's being used all over the world. And it's being used in some amazing ways to save lives and change people's lives. Not long ago, with the earthquake in Haiti, a lot of the people that were there to help used Twitter in some pretty remarkable ways. One, they used it to find ways to get help to people that couldn't get help. They used it to communicate back and forth when they couldn't use the internet in a bigger way. And if you don't think there's power in social media in general, Twitter and Facebook overthrew the government of Egypt, something that had been in place for more than 40 years uh, dictatorially and, and uh, you know, arguably to the detriment of their society. And a, a bunch of young people got together and formed this social media communication group and with Facebook and Twitter literally made the government of Egypt come down or created an atmosphere in which the government of Egypt collapsed. The tweet on the right was from a girl who was at most of these gatherings and crowds. She wrote, I'm going to tell my children that I am the, of the generation of the revolution. I revolted. I changed Egypt. I made history. But it's also being used by everyday businesses. For instance, businesses that sell right out of a mobile food van up in D.C. are letting people know all day long exactly what corner their truck is going to be on. So you can walk outside, meet them, get your lunch right there. This and is a practical use of Twitter in everyday business. They may only have 385 followers, but if 200 of them decide they're going to go eat lunch today because it's close to their place, they're going to have, they're going to have a $2,500 day that they could have never had under normal circumstances. You this know. isn't like you're, I'm faxing you a message or even I'm emailing you a message. I'm putting this in your tweet box and I'm doing it instantaneously to everyone who's in my domain. I see that they're at, they just landed on 7th before Maryland and I'm gonna pop out of my chair and go down and get something to eat. Because I'm at 5th and Vine. Okay, but here's, this, here's the clue. Andy, Andy has created this clue for you and I want you to understand it. You have a different strength for creating great tweets than anybody else does. Go to your strength, use your strength, employ your strength and sit down, create some time for yourself to think. You probably don't have any think time in your PDA. Now would be a good time to create that each morning. 10 minutes. Set aside, allocate 10 minutes to create tweets for yourself. Do not start with what Benjamin Franklin says. Because if I want to know what Benjamin Franklin says, I'll go to his website. These first ones are kind of inspirational in nature. Look at the one from Jeffrey. The main reason people rain on your parade is because they have no parade of their own. This got retweeted five billion times and shut down Twitter. Well, not shut down, but Twitter yeah. shuts down itself. <laughs> Don't worry about that. But this, I was very privileged. It was a coincidence that day. Exactly. This, this went all over the internet. Hundreds of thousands of people got this message. And then Andy tweeted, the only company that ever succeeded by copying was Xerox. Focus on being original. Both of these quotes are so retweetable, it's not even funny. Because someone will get it, and they'll send it to a friend of theirs that they think they can impact. Meanwhile, their friend may have 30,000 followers. So now all of his people have an option of retweeting it, and that's what makes the tweet viral.